It dawned on me what the root of the greatest sins in all, in all of Chumash are. Two of them we read about, one in this week's parasha in Israel and one in this week's parasha in Chutzlaris. Chet HaMaraglim, the sin of the spies, how could it be? that 10 of the great leaders handpicked by God to see the good in the land, could not only see the bad in the land, but bring the Jewish people to a lack of faith, to cry desperately in the desert, believing there's no way they could go into the land. What brought Korach to challenge the, the unchallengeable, to challenge Moshe Rabbeinu's leadership, to challenge his choice of Aaron, to win over 250 of the great leaders, Rashi Sanhedrat, the great leaders of the Jewish people, to challenge to the very, de- the, the very leadership of Moses and going down to their death, believing in the justice of their court. What brings a person to do such a thing? And of course, one of the greats, of course, Chet Egel. What brought the people then, Chet Egel, to challenge, to, to cry out to Aaron that they need to build a, 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 an idol, to go back to the idols of Egypt? Then, and then Chet Amaraglim, and then Chet Korach. What's at the root of all of these sins? I believe it's desperation, despair, yush. When you've got nothing to lose, it's all over. When you find yourself caught in a catch-22 situation, there's nowhere to go. You're absolutely desperate. There's gloom, there's misery, there's desperation, there's dejection. There's nothing you can do. When Moshe Rabbeinu didn't come down from the mountain, the very person who brought them out of Egypt, they, they're guarding light in the desert. They all said, Kizayish Moshe. We didn't know what happened to him. And therefore, there was no way forward. What could they do without Moses? They were absolutely lost in the desert. So too with Chaita Maraglim. The Maraglim sinned in bringing themselves and the Jewish people to desperation. There is no way. There's no way we can go in. We want to go back, but we can't go back. We're going to die in the desert. And everybody's sitting, crying and crying and crying, not knowing the way forward. And of course, Korach in the parish in Israel, the incredibly desperate move, especially if we follow the opinion of Rashi and Ramban says this explicitly, that it happened chronologically. It was after the sin of the, of the spies, where there was now dejection. The whole uh, generation realized that all those between 20 and 60, all the men of that generation are going to pass out, die in the desert, when that, that generation of, was not going to go into the desert. They had, so to speak, they were desperate. That is when they rebelled and did the silliest of things and the most uh, because of desperation. Despair, yush, gloom and doom. This, I would say, is the antithesis of everything spiritual. The essence of Yiddishkeit, as Rav Nachman of Restav has famously said in that famous song, those famous five words, Ein shum yeush klal ba'olam. There is no such thing in the world according to the Torah perspective of the world of yeush. Yes, there is difficulty. Yes, there is challenge. Yes, at times there's pain and tragedy. But desperation, despair, Endless doom and gloom. Ein shum yosh ba'olam. The essence of Judaism is emunah and tikvah. That no matter what, no matter how desperate we feel, with a belief in God, a personal and purposeful God, that things will turn out for the best, and no matter how difficult they are, this is the essence of Judaism. It is the essence of all of the great sins in the desert, and it's the great avodah pnimit that all of us need to do. That in the difficult, dark times of despair and doom and gloom, ein shum yosh ba'olam klau, we believe in Hashem, la man Yisrael, there is a way forward, there is light at the end of the tunnel, and bezrat Hashem, there is always a way to the promised land. Shabbat Shalom.